I have been inspired to make this little video because I've just discovered a material that is new to me. I'm sure I am very late to the party and everyone else perhaps already knows about this, but it's the first time I've used it and I'm quite excited about it. And that's a product called Art Graph. Now, essentially it's like a pigment rich block. Um, it is available in tins, so you can almost use it like a watercolor pan. I've also seen it in sticks, but I rather like this tailor chalk shape and it's inspired by traditional tailor chalk. So what this is, it's a pigment rich graphite that you can draw with and it's water soluble. You can draw into wet, you can draw into dry, you can get various shades from pale transparent shades to quite opaque effects. So I thought I'd just give it a little try and do a little demo. It's also available in different colours. Um, this one here is ochre. Try to see what this one is called sanguine. Um, looks more like a sienna, I think. And then this is like a traditional graphite colour, so I shall take this out as well. We'll use all of them. As I say, you can work onto a dry page or onto a wet page. So I'm going to wet a little bit of my page and see what happens. So I won't wet all of it, I'll just wet some of it. And I'll work initially in the original graphite, but we'll try all the colours. And it's nice because you can use a thin edge or you can use a flat edge. So I'm going to just draw into this. This one's going quite pale, maybe I need a bit more water, I don't know. just love the range of marks that it gives and now I'm going to kind of go into something maybe a little more dry um, you don't have to do a literal drawing like I'm doing you can just use it as mark making it's not a particularly good drawing but um so here my page is dry, but then what I can do is now add water and spread the colour a bit like a watercolour. Uh, I quite like the way it kind of spreads when it's all wet, so it's rather nice working into the wet. And you can always add more water and add more of the colour. Um, let's go back to working in dry. It's, it feels beautifully expressive. This is quite dark here because I think the graphite is actually wet from where I've been working into the wet. I like that you can't actually have really precise control. Just want something pale there. So you can see I can sort of transfer the colour from where it is darker. Um, when you add water it darkens up. This is a, really is a very, very quick demo, but um, let's add a little bit. Now let's, let's add a bit of different colour now. Um, Oh, this ochre is going quite yellow. Just sort of changes colour. Rather like that. Um, let's work into this. You can see it gives a completely different mark here, whether it's wet or dry. That's rather lovely. Um, well, let's try. I'm now going to go to this sienna coloured one. Oh, this is beautiful dark. Sorry, I'm getting a bit excited here, aren't I? The pigment that's coming out of this is incredible. It's quite rich. I don't know if you can see that on here, but um, let's come, maybe come down here and see that. So when it's dry, completely different look to when it's wet. Let's... Oh, I think I must, might need to go and buy this in all the colours that are available. So 
that's just a very, very quick demo of the different effects you can get, the different marks. Um, quite beautiful, I think, whether you're doing something literal like this or just want to play around. So, there we are. Art graph, my new discovery. So, maybe new for you too. <laughs>